Florida is not messing around when it comes to banning the Rona jab passports. And well, discipline is coming. If you do not get in line, we're going to talk about what that is, guys. But first, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Governor Ron DeSantis was very serious when he put in this order months ago in Florida. In fact, it was passed by the legislature. So even better than an executive order now, this states that no government agencies, uh, other businesses, schools can in any way force you to provide proof of the jab in order to access goods and services. Several other states have done that as well, some only through executive action. But now penalties are going to come into play for those businesses that are still requiring proof of a jab to get in. And trust me, there's been plenty of resistance from this in Florida. A lot of liberal cities there, okay? They don't care what DeSantis has to say. Starting September 16th, those businesses that do in fact violate this law, they will be fined up to $5,000. That's right. Now, they will be able to appeal the fine, although I don't really understand why, because if it's the law, I don't. maybe they're going to try to get off on some sort of a technicality. I, I don't know what that would be. But it goes on to say here that if they lose the appeal, they will have to pay the fine within 30 days. And this has a lot of people very upset there in Florida. And actually, a couple of news anchors that covered this story, they're not actually from Florida. Believe it or not, they're from Canada. And I'm going to talk about what they had to say in just a second, guys. But if you could, consider making a generous donation here to our ministry. You know, as we're demonetized here on YouTube, they don't support what we do. You guys can help us out in a major way if you're blessed by the daily video content talking about the end time Bible prophecy, trying to get people to Jesus Christ through these videos. We have PayPal or Patreon for you down below. Even just five bucks a month on Patreon gets you bonus content. Also, we include the links to the YouTube videos there to make sure you get all the alerts when the new content arrives. Plus, you can comment there censorship free, avoid YouTube blocking what you guys are saying. And then another big reminder, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off YouTube. We're already posting there. So go check us out. All those links down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. For those of you thinking about doing so, thank you as well for your generosity as it is much appreciated. But I'm going to put this link down below. You got these, these, you know, these news media out here in Canada. They're in Ontario, I believe. And they were talking about Governor DeSantis basically making fun of him because in Ontario, well, they kind of have a reversal. You can get fined if you do not ask people to show proof of a jab there. Uh, one of them even called DeSantis, called him DeSantos, and said, oh, well, you know them down there in Florida. You know how they are. It's a whole nother world down there. Oh, God forbid they have their freedoms. Uh, it's just comical to me. These little trolls in there in Canada. Canada has their own problems. They shouldn't be talking about Florida. Uh, they might have a revolt there in that country before too long anyway. So this is good. I'm glad that they're going to be taking action here, finding these businesses, but I don't think this is enough. And the reason I say this is because we need to do something to protect the actual employees. Because there is nothing, there is no legislation in any state, whether executive order or legislative action, that actually protects employees, banning their employers from requiring them to take the jab. That's fine if you're going to help the consumers, but... What good is it to help the consumers if they don't have a business to go to in the first place because you could potentially have businesses closing because all these employees that are either getting fired for not taking the jab or quitting because they're not going to take the jab. And then you're just going to have all these closures. And so what good then is this order really do? Uh, we have so many people, good people, Christians and others, losing their jobs over mandates. Uh, but... There's nothing that's happening about it. No one's doing anything. You know, nobody wants to get involved in the private sector uh, or the major companies. I, I know they were trying to do something in Arkansas. They had brought up some legislation there, although it's been kind of, you know, shelved for the time being. They were going to take a vote up on it. They would have been the first state in the country to even, you know, pass a measure like this. But this needs to take place. I I'm happy for Florida and the states that are banning this from you know from consumers having to show proof but we need to do something about the employees in the workplace because their livelihoods are coming to an end no one's talking about that though we need to start talking about it it is a serious issue one that needs to be addressed immediately because with the fda's full approval whatever that means 
more mandates are going to come. So, again, this doesn't really do anything. Protecting the consumer, that's great. But again, businesses will fold as more and more employees are fired or quit. Governor DeSantis, do something. Governor Greg Abbott, do something about this. Legislatures in Republican states, do something about this. Please. It needs to get done. Because we're going to lose this country if not. This is why we do these videos, though, guys. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. But do you know him as your Lord and Savior? You need to make that decision today to accept Christ. You can put this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps you need in order to bring that prayer before the Lord. The first thing that you want to do is that you want to acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something we all are. But God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Your job, though, is that you need to repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to actively turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. And trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk to you soon.